confusion of feelings. Coming here? Mm, yeah. You'll be after me. Okay. Young man, if you have no preference, I would recommend Agent Masha to you. Masha's great. She's mm. a wonderful woman. You know, she'll explain everything very politely, very calmly. Calmly? She's very calm. You know, I changed tickets three times. And now I came again for the same reason. And she showed me not a drop of irritation. Did it all very calmly, professionally. Not your typical agent. So you're recommending Masha to yeah, me? Sure. Frankly speaking, I've never seen anyone with such temperament. Mm hmm. Well, mm. my congratulations. Yeah. Oh, my turn. You remember, right? Masha. You're so welcome. Of course. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hello, Masha. I came to Hello. change the date again. I was supposed to leave on Five the minutes. 8th, but I really can't on that date. Can I switch it to the 9th? On the night, let's take a look. What's surprising you? I'm actually a calm, serene person. Yeah, it's a pity your husband has no idea about that. You know, my clients don't humiliate me with their adulteries. Masha, they can easily start buying tickets at another company. If that was a joke, then it's not funny. And besides, this young nymph ended up sending a bouquet of flowers to my husband at her house, as if he's a ballerina. Yeah, I can imagine how these tickets make Valera mad. The thing is that they don't make him mad. The worst thing for me is that neither flowers nor phone calls make him mad. Tell me this. How this crazy girl, basically a teenager, how is she able to attract a grown man? I don't know. But I look at him and I realize that he's not in love with her like he is with a woman. What then? Like a man then? Relax, don't get worked up. Stay calm, Masha. Masha, how much longer do I have to wait? How long do I have to wait before you realize that your marriage is over? It's over. Well, then tell Valera about it. Come to me. It'll be better for all three of us. Where were you and your feelings before? Before, you were my friend's wife. Who am I now? And now you're a stubborn woman holding onto a marriage that's long gone. I mean, I don't want to be left. What's the difference who leaves who? Well, you don't seem like a fool. Yet you don't understand. I'll explode with anger if Valera leaves me. For this petulant child. Oh, sorry. Masha? All right. Explain to me what you meant when you said he's not in love with... her like a woman. But it's hard to explain. To you, especially. Are you saying that I'm the most foolish person in the Listen, world? Listen, you're not foolish. You just refuse to think right now. You're acting like some kind of jealous woman. Believe me, your husband is not in love with this girl, who is quite attractive. Not that that matters. All right, I'll stop playing the jealous woman and start thinking. But why is he hanging around with her? A man sometimes suffers not because of love. but because he lacks love. He has it all. A wife, a family, but there is no love. The time passes and nothing changes. It's just empty inside, just grief. What's the point of living like that? Trust me, I know about all that. Everything's empty inside me. And there's the same grief. It's just that you grieve loudly, and Valera grieves silently. Families like yours make up half the country. And everyone's just afraid to do something. They're afraid to change. At least do something to get them out of this grief. And in the simplest ones, they grab axes. For themselves or for their partners. What are you talking about? What axes? I love him, after all. Masha, it's all dead for you. Do you understand? It died a long time ago. A person can't love without being loved in return. Mm. A soul would have been paralyzed if she waited for her scarlet sails for 30 mm. years. Or were they green? Well, there you are, scarlet. scarlet. 
And you lasted a long time, by the way. And Alexei. He's been a great father. Alexei ran away to the mountains. And everyone else is going to run away from you soon, too. To the mountains, or across the ocean. But I won't. Just being followed. That's the truth. I drove away from him. What do you mean it's all right? I don't have a jealous husband. Do you hear me? A complete strange man has been following me around. Oh, you're joking. What do you mean call back when he catches me? Oh, thanks a lot. Are you waiting again? <sighs> I've got a serious problem. This is the first time I see someone chasing after a man so much. Nika, you should just go home. Valera just got off a flight. He needs to rest. I'm telling you, I've got a serious problem. Valera's wife is such a saint. You're lucky that she didn't report you. Nika, have you been to the therapist? I don't have time for any of that crap. I've got a problem. I think you're the one that's the problem. When's Valera coming out? Get me to him. Come on, help me out. Sorry, there's a security check. They won't let you in. What if you're a terrorist? All right, just leave then. Well, you're still sitting here. Vigilant, as they say. I'd probably think of something else to do. Sitting here is useless. Do you know what men like? Unpredictability. Hmm. Where's sitting around gonna get you? <sighs> Hello, Nika. Did you go to the police? I did. I gave a statement. But I don't think they'll follow through on anything. They'll wait until I get hurt or something, and then they'll finally start their investigation. What are you talking about, guys? Someone's been following Nika for several days now. Perhaps she's mistaken, but what if it's a maniac? Valera, she's a maniac. Why is she hanging around there? They'll kick her out of the university. Nika is a brilliant student. All right, Stanislav, mind your business. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to the police station with you. No one was concerned for my safety there. No one cares about my life. No one's going to protect me. I don't believe in anyone. Do you believe in me? You're the only one I believe in. Hmm. Oh, Masha, she knows our schedule by heart. The flight was delayed for three hours today. And I went out, and there she was, waiting. Anna, I'm a kind woman. I don't do anything bad to anyone. But she's old enough to be my daughter. And I would strangle her with my own two hands. Listen, Masha. Don't take it the wrong way. But you know, I've been married for a long time. And I never ask my husband where he was. I never go through his phone. You think I don't want to? I do. But I won't let myself do that. We live quite normally. What if I found something out? What then? Would it end? No, I can't do that. Oh, come on, Masha. You used to be mad when there was no reason. Well, I found the reason. Listen, perhaps you should take up a sport or something. 
What sports? Shooting? I'm going to tell her mother. The father's nowhere to be seen, as far as I know. Well, she's just a woman like me. After all, she might understand once I tell her. What if she doesn't know what her daughter is doing at all? Try it. Although kids these days <clears throat> barely listen to anyone. Well, I've got no choice. All right, Masha. I'm going home. But I'll call my husband first. I don't need surprises. I'm going to do it. Talk to her mother. Masha, I'm just asking you. Please be cool, okay? What I mean is no drama. We'll see how it goes. Masha, how is she at fault? She raised her daughter all by herself. Daughter? She raised a monster. Let her answer for it. Good evening. Uh, I'm looking for Nika's parents. Do you know where they are? Nika only has a mother, Natasha. And uh, no father? Doesn't he come to visit his daughter? Well, he might. Sometime, I don't know. How is it possible without a father? Go on, keep knocking. Women often come to this house. Natasha's boyfriend's two-timing her. He's such a hustler. Ugh, I'd better go or they'll say that I'm being nosy again. But go on, keep knocking. <sighs> I figured out who you are. Yeah, I know. Who am I? Nika's taking away your husband, right? Oh, great. Now the whole country knows. Not the whole country, perhaps. But we are a small town. What kind of husband is this? Going around misleading little girls, huh? That little girl is pushing forward like a bulldozer. Yeah, that's our Nika. She tried the patience of a saint. That's what I wanted to ask her mother. Why did she raise such a monster? All right. Knock, it's a pity. I won't hear it from behind the wall. Can you tell me afterwards? God, what am I doing? This isn't me. Why did I come here? I'm sorry. Please don't tell anyone that I came here. Oh. Don't tell anyone. Wait a minute. Where are you running off to? Hold on, I can tell you something else. <gasps> Shoot. <sighs> 
Anastas. <sighs> I went completely crazy over Valera. I'm losing myself right now. I nearly picked a fight with the mother of this little monster. That's it. I'm coming to you. Do you hear me? I'm coming to you. Yes. Send me the hotel address and the room number. I'm afraid of him. The way he looks at me like he wants to eat me. Don't worry, he won't. Go get us more time. Would I? Nika, I haven't done anything with anyone. I know. I even have maniacs following me. Mom, seriously, don't worry about it. They're looking around everywhere. Valera made a scandal at the police station. Unfortunately, I didn't see the maniac's face, but they did write down that I saw he was limping. A lot of people limp. They are never going to find him that way. No, I, I'm not leaving you alone. I took the day off, and I'm spending it with you the entire day. Pulling up. Well, that's great, Mom. You know, you and I haven't gone anywhere for ages. Having Oleg come with us is such a drag. Send me a text with your location. No, he won't come with us. He's hardly ever home. Did you finally find work? Nika, I'm scared. No, he hasn't, and I don't even think he's looked for work. Mom, well, he's no good for you. Well, tell me, why are you even with him? You just don't understand. It's so hard to be a woman and live all by myself. You don't love him, I can see that. You're right. Stop complaining, you'll be fine. You're right, I haven't had much luck with love in my life. Besides, I was only in love once. But it didn't last long. But I remember every single detail. I guess you can't be so happy in your youth. Nothing works out the same afterwards. You're not going to bail, are you? This is why I'm afraid for you. You fell in love so hard. Yeah, I got twisted pretty badly. All right, then introduce me to this young man. I'll do it soon, Mom. I hear he's a lot older than you. Well, but this is good. My blooming youth and... His experience and wit. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Have some dinner. I don't leave friends in trouble. All right, I'll I go change. I don't leave anyone in trouble. Mm-hmm. Just don't be late. I won't. They say the restaurant in this inn is pretty decent. You're driving really well, honey. That means he taught me well. Valera. That's a beautiful name. I like it. 
You'll like him too, Mom. I know I will. I'll like whoever you like, Princess. As long as he doesn't hurt you, of course. This one won't, that's for sure. I don't think he can hurt anyone at all. Do you think that it's nobility or stupidity that can cause someone to be that way? I just don't understand relationships sometimes. No one can ever understand a relationship between two people. People don't understand themselves. Well, could you live with a man who doesn't actually love you? Well, I am now. I'm sorry. That's fine. You're right. In your 20s, you think, I'll break up with him. There's a lot of other guys out there. But then you find out after a year or two or three that there's other guys that aren't as special as him. And you could even get married. And <laughs> it's never gonna work out, really. Why not? Because you compare everyone to your first love. They'll all be strangers, some more so than others. I know what I'm saying. All right. Got it, on my way. Did something happen? Lena got into a mess. We have to go save her. Is it far away? No, it's nearby. Shame. A young girl has to spend time at an inn. Mom, it's not an inn, it's a hotel. People all over the world spend their entire lives in hotels. You know when a person wants to be alone or go somewhere far? Lena lives two streets from us, honey. Her mother is always working. Don't you tell me she wants to be alone now? <laughs> Lena! Why are you crying? What took you so long? What took you so long? <laughs> Took you so long. Lena, who hurt you? We better call the police. Mom, hold on with the police. Oh, Natasha, I'm so sorry. I guess at least I didn't kill him. Well, I'm sorry. Well, uh, uh. Are you alive? I don't even know what's going on. What time is it? <sighs> you started tearing my dress off. Lena, I'm sorry. I got my timing all wrong. No, it's fine. I know you do anything for me. Is he alive? He is. You didn't finish him off. And you were a real team player. Well, if you care so much, we can call him. He'll be back in the blink of an eye. Shall we? Don't. Are you very upset? I'm upset you had to live in the house with him, honey. Oh, I wish you had believed me. What are you saying? I'm saying we'll have everything. Just think of all the fun we can have. Hm? Of course, everything will be fine. You'll mm -hmm. give me grandchildren one grandchildren? day. Grandchildren? What grandchildren? Oh, she got impatient. Hold on. Why haven't I noticed what a horrible bag you've been carrying? Leave it. My documents are there. What's this? Hm? It's just a bag. 
I don't want anything. I don't need anything, Mom. I only want you to be the happiest in the world. <laughs> Is she here? She's at work. Well, give me my wife's things and then I'll go home. Her home is here now, Valera. <sighs> One of Masha's tricks. You shouldn't be drawn into her shenanigans. Come on, bring me her suitcase, Stanislav, and then I'll get out of your hair. Valera, she's staying here. It would be better for everybody. <laughs> if my wife stays to live with you, who would it be better for? What kind of nonsense is that? You won't be able to live with her. You're a stubborn bachelor. As for Masha, very few people could stand her. Valera. Masha's not coming back to you. Okay. Take this. Valera, perhaps we better talk at work, huh? Pilots shouldn't be punching each other during the flight, right? So you want to punch me in the face? Why, Valera? Huh? Because for so many years, no one noticed how much I loved her? This is why I never got married. You know why? Because of the fact that Masha can no longer live with a man who only lives with her out of pity. So you want to punch me now? Go ahead. At least you're free now. You don't need to lie and hide. Nothing's keeping you from being with your little Nika. You've known me a long time. Do you think I would make a mess of that girl's life? And besides, not even God could ever forgive me for what I've done to Masha. All right then. We'll figure out what to do with Alexi later, right? There's nothing to do. He's a grown man, he'll figure it out. So what are we now, Valera? Friends? Cousins once removed. Security! Get him! Someone call security! Did something happen? Hey, stop! What happened? You're too late, he ran away. Who ran away? Whoever it was, he ran away. You should do a better job.
keep following me? What kind of maniac are you? Do you kill and dismember? Or do you rape and eat? Answer me now! Let go of me, mm -hmm. crazy of fool! Of course! Sure, I'll let you go, and you'll attack me. Police are already on their way. This is a preliminary interrogation. You stupid uh. fool! Uh. Uh. What's with the leg? Uh. It's injured. Uh. A victim must have hit you in the spine while buckling? Uh. Oh, you've got stains on uh. your face. What's this? Get your hands off me! <laughs> what a gentle maniac. You've got signs of frostbite. Do you sleep in a fridge or something? Uh. Why are you following me? I wanted to meet you. Why did you run away then? This is your maniac. I'm insecure. Don't have much experience. I thought you were one of those... One of what? Super confident. Girls like that scare me. Who doesn't scare you? Moderately dumb and moderately good-looking ones? That's it. What kind of girls do you like, huh? Uh, all right. You're a lazy, untalented maniac. See her, want her, run after her, get her. What do I need to teach you? Uh... It's taking the police a long time. I'd better go, okay? All right, who are you? All right, listen up. It's time we got acquainted. My name's Alexi, son of the woman whose husband you're trying to steal. Right. I guess I should have figured it out sooner. Why were you scaring me? Why were you following me? I wanted to understand where all the meanness comes from. You should have come up and asked. You can't see meanness from a distance. You can ask me now. Oh, no, it's all clear now. What is? Everything is clear. I don't want to upset you. I understand. You mean that such an ugly girl has nothing left but to be with a married, middle-aged man, am I right? Your guess is right. Can I go? I always knew that only the dumb ones go off to live in the mountains. <laughs> well, that's an interesting thought. You twisted your back and froze off your face instead of sorting things out at home. You sorted it out nicely without me. Tell me why your mom is so unhappy then. And don't lie and say it's because of me. I bet it wasn't good before I came along That's either. Enough. enough. It's not right for you to talk about my family without me. <laughs> then stop telling me that I'm so ugly. You followed me because you obviously liked me. That's what I'm saying. Way too confident. Don't let it get to your mm -hmm. head. You're so kind. Go on, run away. Get your ticket to the mountains before you go crazy. I can't believe that Valera was a bad student at school. He was a terrible pupil. I was the main target of all the teachers' meetings. Mm -hmm. All of his teachers always came down on me. What about you? Did you used to give him a hard time at home? No, I was waiting for him to wake up and stop fooling around. Why am I telling you all this? Who are you to me? I'm your friend. Your only friend, I think. And did he come around? Not right away. He fell in love with a girl who was an excellent pupil in the eighth grade. Well, and he started studying like a beast. And did she notice him? I was called to see the teacher. And this time, it was because of their romance. Everyone was yelling that it would end badly. Is there a photo of that girl somewhere in here? No. There was a lot of her photos, but when they broke up, Valera tore them up. That's stupid. Haven't you noticed yet that people in love often do stupid things? It wasn't your great mind that made you fall in love with my son. You don't suit each other at all. Well, he suits me. Very much so. He's clever and kind and doesn't drink at all. Clever and kind people are mostly alcoholics. You said that people in love are blind fools. But the thing is, Valera never had a drink before. And did you love your wife foolishly too? <sighs> After her death, I understood that. I loved her foolishly. I should have carried her in my arms. You know, you always think that career is first and that it will all happen later. <sighs> but it never happened for the two of us. I was a very good student in school. You're great. Mm -hmm. I was always winning school competitions. Well, you've got good brains then. Mm-hmm. And no one ever called my mom to the principal's office. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying you're great. You were. I'm not a vegetable now. Maybe if my dad hadn't run away from us, he could have told everyone at work about me. <laughs> everyone would have been jealous of him. You know, Nika, being an old man, I'm puzzled. 
You've got a brilliant future ahead of you. Love, plus family and success. Why do you need this nasty affair? That's the worst thing you can do, to destroy someone else's family. Talking about this bores me. All right, I'm going home. Okay. But just remember when we become related, you'll be so glad that you acquired such perfection from me. Someone should discipline you. No, they shouldn't. There's no one to do that. My mom can't hit anyone. She even worries when she has to kill a mosquito in the house. Well, and like I just told you, my dad ran away from us. I never got to meet him. Are you waiting for me to pity you? I am. <laughs> All right. Valera, I suggest we switch the juice. How do you feel about that? Absolutely not. I'll have juice tomorrow if I get a hangover from today. Bring it over. Well, you can't get it in a night. You need to drink for a long time for this. Aggressively. Listen, Valera, did something happen? No, I'm all right. Well. I can make you a sandwich. No, I'm not hungry, just thirsty. Valera, I don't know what happened to you, but drinking's not a way out. Oh no, you don't understand. Sometimes there is no way out. No way, not a single one. Hey, what's the date? It's the 8th. All right, on Friday the 8th, you learn. That there are situations where there is no way out. That is some valuable knowledge. If it seems that there's no way out, it means that you haven't found your way yet. Why don't you tell me what happened? Maybe I can help you. Oh, no, thank you. One friend has already helped me. And that's enough for now. Okay, stop. But what's this fuss about, for God's sake? Do you need a ride home? Thank you again, but home is just... It's sort of gone. It disappeared. And I don't have anywhere to ride to. I'm going to Vladivostok tomorrow and then Blagoveshensk. You're not going anywhere. No one will give you permission to fly tomorrow. All right, deal with it. See you. Give me another. the pilot. He's laying over there. Valera, get up. What are you doing? Oh, uh, Polina, you're walking alone late at night? It's dangerous. It's full of maniacs with lips. You should go home. Here, take some money for a taxi. Put the money away. You're drunk. Everyone's watching. Do I not have secrets for my colleagues? Do you want some champagne? No, I'll have some tea. Although it would be better to just leave here. Thank you for not asking how I'm doing. Everyone in the world has asked me already. Do you wanna know how I'm doing? No, I'm not interested. Why did you drink so much? You're gonna regret this tomorrow. And what about the day after? Will it be better then? <laughs> the day after tomorrow, I'm gonna open my eyes and see how brilliantly I destroyed my family and just start dancing. Oh, come on. Masha has left you so many times already and yet she always comes back. No one leaves a man like you. You know, you're such a romantic, Polina. Why, do you have someone? Do you have anyone? No, I don't have anyone. That's weird. I don't believe that 
Such a pretty girl doesn't have a whole army of admirers. I don't need anyone, Valera. Oh, come on, stop it. Don't tell me if you don't want to, but don't lie to your boss. I don't need anyone else but you. <laughs> Haven't you noticed before? No, I haven't. Did you just make that up? So you could sober me up? Let's get away from here. No, hold on. You just declared your love for me, and now you're saying let's go. But where will we go? Where would you like to go? I would like to... I would like for the two of us to run away forever. And I would pray every day thanking my fate for giving me such happiness. Now listen to me. I had it once. Had what? I had it very badly once, worse than it is now. One wonderful girl pitied me. And I allowed myself to be pitied. And then as a reward, I made this girl's life a living hell. She tolerated it for a long time and she broke out today. She finally broke free. It won't be like that with me. It will be exactly like that. Go home now. Calm down. Damn it. Oh, jeez. My fingers aren't working. Somebody call her a taxi. I don't need a taxi. Yes, you do. Go home and wait. Wait for your boyfriend. Wait for your fate. I'm sick of it. Nobody's freaking happy. Valera? Oh, Somebody help me. Oh, my God. Help! Valera! Valera! I was the only one in my class whose father didn't drink. Get me a beer or something. You don't need a beer. I've squeezed some lemons. <sighs> I'm hungover. I'm not pregnant. Oh, that's so bitter. When did you live with a pregnant woman? I thought you got me from some orphanage. Did your mom tell you that? God, it's so bad. No, Mom didn't. You didn't either. I figured it out on my own. So do you hate the both of us? No. You're both great. Uh, will you live with me when you're in school? No, I won't. I'm gonna rent a place. My independent alpinist. Well, you'll just bring that little girl around here, and I don't need that. So they told you about that stupid thing? You do realize this is insane, right, Dad? I do, although it's trendy now to marry young girls. That's not your case. Well, why not? I don't have that much gray in my hair yet. Are you joking? Listen, I'm in no position to joke. Pour me some more. I think I'm feeling better. You still don't understand? What are you talking about? Dad, you're a pilot. You're supposed to be clever. People trust you with their lives. And yet you don't understand a thing. What am I supposed to understand? Just a minute, I'll show you. <sighs> oh, what the hell are you doing? <sighs> Alexei, what is this? Have you been spying on us? You're thinking about it the wrong way. Look closely. What are these spy games? You look alike. So what? And it's especially clear when you're next to each other. So what? Dad, she's your daughter. your brother. Do you want tea? Yeah. All right, careful. Tell them at the kindergarten to make him eat soup. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mom, he hates their soup. Why would you torture the kid? Come on. All right, I'll come in the evening and make the soup. You know what, Lena? I want to tell you, I'll kill you if I hear once more you're hanging out in the hotel. Mom, I was only there once, and it was by accident. Let's do these without accidents. You and Nika are ruffling feathers. Do you think we want to be raising grandchildren? Mom, Nika and I are as pure as spring water. What? That's what Nika says. Huh. Have you seen her, man? No, I haven't. No one has, but everyone knows. It's too bad for her. And how was your reputation when you gave birth to me? Don't get lippy with me. I was left alone. Yeah, I believe you. Lena, why are you spoiling my mood this morning? Well, you shouldn't give me advice. Sadly, you're right. Mom, uh, do you know why Nika's father left out Natasha? She's beautiful and she's nice. At first she was as quiet as a mouse. And she is silent still. And now it doesn't make any difference at all. That's it. I'm off. Bye-bye. Bye, my dear. Mwah. Bye. Mwah. Come on, eat. Eat. Yum. Sausage. You're sitting here looking all nice, and then you'll grow up and start deserting women. Come on. Yum. Good morning. Good morning, Aunt Zena. Didn't your playboy come back? He's not coming back ever. So you sent him away, didn't you? Without asking your aunt for advice. I never asked for your advice, Aunt Zena. That's a shame. Elders have experience and wisdom. Aunt Zena, I need to finish something before I go to work. I'm in a rush here. Rush, rush. You've rushed enough. You'll be alone now. I still have Nika. This one's going to be faster than you. She'll get married quickly. And there will be just the two of us. Perhaps we'll take the fence down and start living like a family again. That fence never kept you from spoiling my life. Did you take your medicine or did you forget again? Well, I don't. I'm still healthy. I won't be a burden to you. You're my blood, you know. Although, you and Nika don't love me, of course. Ansine, I really have to go now. Perhaps it was wise of you to kick your house guest out. But you know, you're raising your daughter poorly. She's stealing a man from his family. Why are you always listening to gossip, Aunt Zena? His miserable wife came over here. She cried a river. Who cried a river? What life? Why are you lying? She came to get her husband back. She wanted to... She wanted to talk to you, but she didn't wait for you. He must be a decent man, since his wife is holding on to him so tightly, with money, perhaps. You just haven't seen him the way she has, you know? Enough. I ask you, how do you live with such disgusting thoughts in your head? Oh, oh. If the management finds out, they won't be flying together anymore. You and I were supposed to let them know. Excuse me, ladies. There's an empty seat here. Can I Please sit down? Please wait. Not all the passengers are on board Hello. yet. Hello. Everyone knows it anyway. Besides, they won't bring their personal problems into work. Hello. Uh, Hello there. It's a terrible situation, of course. They can both be so filled with emotion and jealousy. Valera isn't going to miss his wife. She sucks so much blood over the years. And as for Stanislav, why would he be jealous? He's all shining with Masha as if he won a million. Hmm. Hello. 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 Will there be newspapers? A bit later. Thank you. Come in. Oh, I hope it's going to be all peaceful and easy. Oh, my God. Hello. Hmm? I guess my seat is right over here. Hello. Hello. Sit still. You better not step into the cockpit. What happened? You got what you wanted. Are you going to tell me what happened or not, Polina? You made Valera's wife leave him. Yes. Well, that's great. Hi. You know, I was starting to run out of money for the tickets. Come on, why are you looking so sad, Polina? I mean, what's wrong? It's 
good for everyone. Don't you have any brains in there? <sighs> Sit there, and don't you dare go anywhere. Mm -hmm. If you need to go to the toilet, tell me and I'll walk you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Welcome on board. Hello. Well, are you gonna write a complaint about me for the transfer? How long have we been flying together? Well, I can't say exactly. It's long. Yes. I'll tell him. What is it? The boss wants to have a talk with us tomorrow for the transfer. I see. Information in our company spreads like the plague. Listen, Valera, let's not look like two idiots, all right? Were you planning on looking like an idiot? Because that's not exactly what I was planning. Valera, she's flying with us again. Belina, could you make... Stanislav and me some coffee? All right. I can't get to the sea. I walk by rivers all the time. This one's big. You're spending too much money on plane tickets. I'm saving your company from bankruptcy. Moreover, I'm inquisitive and I like to travel mm -hmm. across my native country. Well, what about this city is interesting mm -hmm. to you? If you wanted to go to the sea, you could have gone there. Walking over a river is equally as interesting, with you. By the way, how's your crazy alpinist doing? Stopped following me? Forgive him. Alexei is very worried about his mother, and about me, too. We've confused the boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I don't have a father at all, but I don't understand people. Get him an MRI. He has a disc injury. If he doesn't get treatment, he'll always have a limp. It's a pity he's not very smart. No, that's not true at all. Alexei is a smart guy. He used to read a lot. He turned from a loser into a real man. He mm. goes to the mountains. He just gets carried away sometimes. He has a strange imagination. For example? He took a photo of us together in the airport. He insists that we look so much alike that you could be my daughter. Absolutely not. <laughs> Alexei's just mad. He's mad that his mother and I broke up because of a girl who's twice as young as I am. Did you tell him that we're not having an affair? Why would you think I would tell him any of that? Aren't you surprised about anything? About the fact that I run after you, fight God knows where, and we never even kiss? Why, do you want me to kiss you? You, you know, you don't even interest me as a man at all. You balding idiot. Excuse me? Pilot, you are a complete weirdo. When's the return flight? Nika, we still have time. What's the matter? I'll tell you when I get back home. Why not now? I want you to fly the plane calmly. The crew and the passengers aren't guilty of anything. I don't want you to crash the plane either. I still have my whole life ahead of me. Why did Alexei think that you were my daughter? You should be glad that your alpinist has eyes in his head. And at least he has a little brains. Who is your mother? Oh, you finally decided to be interested in my family? My mother's Natasha Fedorova. How do you like that for a twist? Natasha? Natasha, the one who you went to school with. I mean, we still even have the white dress in which she was supposed to get married in hidden away somewhere deep down in the closet.
I didn't recognize you right away. I mean, back when I hit you with the car. You were all covered in blood. And then I recognized. Mom's got your photos hidden all around the house. I realized a long time ago that it was you in those photos. Even if Natasha is hiding those photos, it doesn't mean... It does. I wasn't a fool even when I was a little kid. I scanned all the photos and I compared them. I'm no more foolish than your Lexi. Do you want to take a paternity test or what? I don't need it though. I've grown up without you. or past all that. And it's not like I could get a lot of money from you. Nika, why did you play out this drama? I want you to get married to my mom. Since you left her, she's never been happy. Not for a single day. Not for a day. Think of how guilty you are, Pilot. Even if you are my daughter, it's been too much time, Nika. <laughs> Do you think my mom got fat and ugly? She's even more beautiful than she was when you left her. Come on, stop it. Natasha told you I left her? Never. She never said a single word about you. She didn't even make up a father who died in a hot spot for me. Excuse me. Whenever I asked her about my father, she always told me that I shouldn't ask her about you. And eventually I stopped asking. But I'd like to know now, what jitters did you have that made you leave her right before the wedding? Did you know she was pregnant? No, I didn't. I'm asking you. Meet with my mother, please. I've been running after you like a dog, flying, all for her. So then tell me. Is it so difficult to just meet? Listen, I don't know whose daughter you are, but I don't have any desire to meet your mother. I'm sorry. Wait, what happened between you two? Take your seat, please. you didn't know how to cry. I didn't. Go do your job. <laughs> well, did Valera send you packing? Permanently? Your Valera sent me packing a long time ago. And permanently. Listen, go away. Someone's asking for tea over there. Nika, I've got a daughter almost your age. <laughs> Trust me, you're gonna be okay. Listen, your daughter is going to be all right. I'm just sick of all of you. <laughs> oh, God. Why are you crying so much, hmm? Do you want me to get you some food? It's early, but I can get it for you. Do you want it? Eat that nasty food yourself. <laughs> Do you have any candy? Some chocolates? I don't think we have any chocolates. I think we just have some lollipops. Ah! Polina has a chocolate. Do you want me to ask her? <laughs> I don't need anything.
Valera. Valera, are you all right? Valera. Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Calmly and easily, we went down from the bridge. Nika! Mom, what are you doing here? I'm waiting for you. Are you going to introduce me to your boyfriend today? Oh. oh, I see. Lena told you. She did? Does he work here? Why are you meeting here? And why are you hiding everything? Mom, let's just go home. No, I'm not going to move an inch until you introduce me to him. I'm your mother, after all. I have a right to know. You've been spending all this time with him. Why are you so quiet? Girls, are you in a rush? We can give you a ride to the city. We'll do fine without you. We're sorry. They didn't even call for us. We're like husband and wife. We're almost husband and wife. We got our wedding coming up in a week. It feels like we've been married a long time, like it's gonna be our silver anniversary. <sighs> My aunt is upset that we're moving away. And your father is worried too. Yeah, he shouldn't be alone <clears throat> after a mother's death. But what do we do? Are you going to give up the Flight Academy? I'm not. Well, then we'll visit them more often and we can even invite them to our house. My aunt's not going anywhere. She's watching over her property. Do you think we're forgetting them too soon? I know that you're thinking about it all the time. I do, but it's easy for me to leave my aunt. She doesn't love me as much, you know? She's only worried about who's going to take her to the market to sell her ugly hats. We'll be transferring money to her then. Yeah, money is her passion. It'd be so great if your father would come with us. Doctors are needed everywhere in the world. He goes to the cemetery to visit mom every day. <laughs> Natasha, you need to understand. There is no right way to do this. We're mean, regardless of how you look at it. But at least we'll have each other. The director was saying, what a class. These two are getting married, and the third's got a bump. <laughs> yeah, we've <laughs> pulled quite a trick. Mm hmm It would also be great if you finally get married to your Mr. X. By the way, when is he coming back? You better ask whom, not when. You know, some men come back from the army and end up marrying completely different women. <laughs> By the way, if it's a girl, I'll name her Lena. Mm -hmm. <laughs> come with us! Come here. Did you tell him? No, we have too many problems. Will you tell him at the wedding? I won't. Everyone will think he's marrying me because I'm pregnant. God, no one's going to think anything. You've been in love since the eighth grade. I just love him so much, Seema. Oh, God, I'm so tired of the two of you. I can't wait for you to get married. <laughs> and enjoy life. Let other people suffer and get disappointed. <laughs> wait a minute, we've got our own problems, too. What kind of problems can you have, hmm? Huh? Listen, if you have a baby girl, she'll be friends with mine. Mine will be Lena, and yours will be Veronica. <laughs> it's too long of a name. Well, you can shorten it to Nika. Nika? 
Well, that's fine. But it better be a boy. <laughs> it's funny to see a pilot on the street and realize he's your father. It's really funny. Yeah, there's nothing funny about that. Haven't you heard that? Children need to know the complete truth for their psychological well-being. I didn't lie to you. Mm -hmm. Was I supposed to say your father was a scumbag and that he left me? Would that have been good for your well-being? Mom, he's not a scumbag. I know for sure that Valera is a very good man and he would never leave anyone. He did. He left me. I thought we had the kind of love that only happens once in a thousand years. He paid for everything at our wedding and he left and he never ever called me again. I couldn't keep living there. I persuaded Aunt Zena to sell the place and move far away. Mom, give him a chance. Valera has become a completely different man. <sighs> he left me when I was young and extremely beautiful. Why would he want me now? I'm older and aging. I dream of the three of us. Sitting together at the table. It's so happy there in the dream, me, you, and him. I imagined it when I was running after him. My love. I... I understand you... You just want to make it better. You've put so much effort into it. But... I'm begging you to stop. Live your own life. I want more than anything in this world for you to be happier than I was. Ah, what a sweetheart I raised. Mom. Hmm? Well, do you have time for your school outside of your affairs? Yeah, there's not much time. I'll just be in school now since my affairs ended with a flop. Why a flop? I'm content. I've got a granddaughter, a future colleague. Who needs more? Keep in mind, I won't fidget with your back. If we don't become a family, I won't take care of you. Even as a doctor? Not a doctor yet. I haven't taken the Hippocratic Oath. Nikusha. Nika. It's just Nika. I'm sorry, Nika. You should know that they loved each other very much. That you were born out of a strong love. Just look at yourself. Your face says that you're a child of love. Mm -hmm. And because of this huge love I grew up without a dad and with my mother crying every night. I'm warning you, even though you are my biological grandfather, I won't even dare let my children a mile near you. Why is that? You'll raise them to be monsters like your son. By the way, haven't you ever tried to understand why you did such a terrible thing? I did. I think about it all the time. You see, there wasn't a single reason. Not just one. And I remember that date of the last minute. Well, you know, Nika, first I helped Valera to pick out a suit for the wedding. And then we went to the bank and took money to pay for the wedding. I was glad that my son was so happy at last. Is it that he wanted to run away with the money? Was it a lot? Yeah, a lot. A whole pile. But he paid for the wedding in full before he left. And what's the point? I didn't understand it either. There would be no wedding after all. Well, he said, perhaps Natasha will manage to find another fiancé in time. Now that's just nonsense. Another fiancé? Where? I didn't believe it until the last minute, you see. I thought he was playing a trick on me. I went to the train station with him and waiting for him to pop out of the car and say, Dad, I pulled quite a trick on you. And he never came back out. I watched him enter inside the train compartment, sit by the window and cry. You see, Nikusha, Nika. My son had never cried before, even as a child. He wanted to become a pilot. We didn't know that Natasha was expecting you. She and her aunt left soon after. That old fool was happy that Natasha stayed with her. No one could tell us you were born. I don't know what else to say to make you forgive me, although I don't understand why I even need to be forgiven. Oh, we lost the child. Doctor, excuse me. 
What's wrong with her? Shh. The child is sleeping. She's my granddaughter. Yeah? Nakusha. I mean, Nika. I hope you're not stalking me now. No, not you. Hmm, found a new victim? Aren't you tired of talking to people like that? Talking like what? Like a prosecutor. As if everyone else is guilty and you're savior of the universe. My performance is over and the public ran away. Did they forget to tell you about it? Your performance isn't over, it was a success. I don't have a family anymore. Mom makes food while dad's away and he's suspended from flying. What happened to him? <laughs> well, it's that he got upset, you know? Something's wrong with his nerves. Maybe he's taking something. All right, I'm not interested. What are you doing here? Waiting for a friend. Uh-huh, don't lie to me. You came to tell me that? I'm an evil genius? You're not a genius. You expect someone to pity you, but there's nothing to pity you for. Who are you to me? A stepbrother? All right, just listen to me. Try to get what I'm gonna say. I don't care what you think about Valera. I haven't met a better man. I don't know what happened between him and your mother. I don't know that, but I still respect him. And you should stop judging others. Let's see what kind of wife you'll make. Did you come here to propose to me? All right, bye. Hold on. Please tell your mother that I'm really sorry. I didn't want it to happen like this. She'll have a heart attack at the sound of your name. Well, an angel of death burst into her family. I couldn't have destroyed anything if the two of them actually had a real relationship. Hmm. Well, why are you looking at me like that, brother? <laughs> Good thing I'm not your brother. <laughs> Recognize your classmate and a bent old woman? Yeah. It's only been 19 years, and the groom finally came for his bride? You haven't changed a bit. Oh, this almost appeared to be two unfortunate romances and two very unfortunate children for me. <sighs> Does Natasha hate me? Well, frankly speaking, there's not much to love for you. Did Natasha get married right after I left her? Mary? After you disappeared, she didn't talk for two days and didn't smile for five years. Well, should I ask you where you went so disgracefully after you left, or won't I get an answer? <clears throat> no, you won't. Why did you come back here? For forgiveness? Is Nika my daughter? <laughs> Nika is Natasha's. You ask her. No. Well, you just keep standing right there. I have to go to work. <laughs> I raised her, fed her, dressed her, thought that she would be a help to me when I got old. But you're not old. I'm not old, you say? I don't have a single healthy organ in my body. Who's going to call me an ambulance if my blood pressure goes up? How will I go to a health resort? Who's going to look after my place? 
And on top of that, she has to help me with the money. Why are you doing this to her? What do you mean? Well, I spent money on her. And she grew up a mean and indecent person. Someone's at the door. Uh-huh. I'll call you back. Oh, Valera. It's just me, Aunt Zena. That was quick. Everything's according to the list. And here's the list. You're a fine young man. <laughs> here's your change. Natasha always complicates things and spends extra money. I can go. Valera, will you sit down with me just for a while? You're like a son to me. My dumb Natasha wouldn't have graduated without you. She's so lucky. You fuss over her as if she was a precious stone. You'd better just tell me what you need help with. I have to go. <gasps> I know you're in a hurry. Yeah. Getting ready for the wedding. Trying so hard. Trying hard, Aunt Sina. That's why I should really go. Oh, hold on. Please sit down. Valera. Have you finally decided to leave with Natasha? Yeah, to the Flight Academy. Oh, that's right. I remember. Valera, I won't beat around the bush. <laughs> Don't beat around the bush, Aunt Sina, please. I really have uh, to Valera, go. stay there. I guess Natasha doesn't have the courage to tell you. I thought we told each other everything. You do, probably, but she doesn't. She has another boyfriend, and she's much in love with him. And he feels the same way about her. Natasha's a kind-hearted girl. She doesn't want to ruin your life, but she loves another man. She decided to go with you and become a, a good wife for you and rip that love out of her heart. Yeah. And you know, that's a terrible situation. Who's the guy? What difference does it make? And why should I believe you then? Well, I'm telling you as if you were my son. It's up to you whether you believe me or not. That's nonsense. She would have told me about it. She's weak. She pities everyone. And that includes you and her lover. She couldn't have lied to me like this. Who's the boy? Is he in our group? No. You actually surprise me. How could you not figure it out? That... That she had something to do with another boy. For a long time. She has come to see him every week, you know. Hold on. This is why you should send her to the market. To sell those hats of yours. What do you mean, hats? Oh my, you're such a fool. I don't want to believe it. It's too early for you to get married. I didn't want to do it. But whatever. Read it. She asked me to give it to him after you get married and she leaves with you. Why is it, why is it typed? Well, I don't know. It's not my letter, you know. It's, it's Natasha's. Her friend Seema has a typewriter at home. She must have used it to type it. I'm sorry for upsetting you, honey. I'm really sorry. Uh, can you read it for me? Goodbye, beloved, goodbye, and thank you. It was good, despite everything that happened with us. And I will thank you for that until my last dying breath. I am at ease. I have told you everything. And now you know, or at least you can imagine, how much I loved you. And you will not feel that love being a burden on you. You will not miss me. But I will miss you deeply. Valera, don't tell her or she'll hate me.
Hello, Seema. Hello? What's wrong with your voice? My voice is fine. Do you have a typewriter? Natasha took it. Natasha took it. Hello? Hello? Natasha wanted to type the menu for the wedding. Bring the typewriter to me as soon as she's done. My mother needs it. Neither you nor your mother show any gratitude towards me. We do. I'm showing it right now. Aunt Cena, do you remember Valera? Valera? What Valera? No, I don't. All right, take this and put it away. I'll do it later. He must remember him. Valera used to go to school with my mother. My brain would explode if I remembered every one of your mother's men. Well, you couldn't forget about this man. Valera was the man my mother was originally supposed to get married to. So you don't want to talk about him? Why not, Aunt Zena? I don't want to. And that's it. He's a bastard. Mm -hmm. I lit a candle for him when he ran away from this place. And that was the last time I thought of him. And you really have no idea why he decided to leave my mother. I'm telling you, he was a bastard. Listen, Aunt Zena, all men are bastards to you. I'm sure you know. Yeah, I'm sure you know the reason why Valera left my mom. You don't want to tell me, right? I know, but I won't tell you this. It's none of your business. All right, either you tell me the truth right now or I'll tear this damn curtain down. You don't love me or my mom at all. You're just dragging money from us and we're serving you. Get out of my house and call your mother. I won't go. I can tell that you know something. I know, but I won't tell you. All right, then. You want to do it the hard way? You're going to tell me everything right now. Stop! Stop! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! I said don't touch it! Put it back! Put it back! Put it back right where you found it. All right. Either you tell me the truth right now, or I will burn all of this money. You haven't earned it anyway. My mother gave all this to you. I'll put you in jail, you hooligan. Tell me the truth. Your mother slept around. Lies. She slept with another guy before the wedding. I don't believe it. Don't you dare set it on fire. Tell me the truth. Don't. Don't. Tell me. Do you even realize what you're doing? You're gonna crash, and then remain a cripple the oh, rest I of your won't life. Crash. The best pilot in the country taught me how to drive. Now listen to this. Listen, listen. Goodbye, beloved. Goodbye, and thank you. It was good despite everything that happened with us. And I will thank you until my last dying breath. I am at ease. I have told you everything, and now you know or you can imagine how much I loved you. And you will not feel that love being a burden on you. You won't miss me, but I'll miss you deeply. Where did you find that? Did you recognize it? Then you remembered your whole life. Nika, your mother loved another man, don't you understand? There was never another man. Haven't you read something like this out of the classics, huh? This is an extract from Letter from an Unknown Woman by Stefan Zwega. Aunt Zena typed it from the book. Why didn't you take the letter? Why didn't you read it yourself? You would have understood right away that it wasn't Mom. Mom never makes mistakes, but Aunt Zena has a couple in every single word. 
would you believe this terrible fake? My mom has loved you for her entire life. She doesn't know how to lie. She can't be unfaithful. And you, believe something this evil, illiterate aunt reprinted from a book. Funny, isn't it? Isn't it funny to ruin everyone's lives? What else did this guy write, do you know? I do. Confusion of feelings. But it has absolutely nothing to do with you. All right. There's nothing else to talk about. I guess I'll go home. You should read this. See for yourself. I'll get him the Repka fairy tale, the adaptive version. <laughs> well, we all gotta start somewhere. Well, the blues ain't nothing but... Yeah. 